What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm playing in VR. Gonna play a little bit. I've been playing this game mostly on my other headset, the HP Reverb G2. It looks a lot better on there. It doesn't look bad on the Oculus, but it's just a little blurrier, I think. Yeah, it is, for sure. And my performance was really bad. Uh, probably, most likely, it's because I, I increased my super sampling on the quest uh, to about 1.3. And I have the frame rate, I think, locked to about 90. So, naturally, I'm going to take a hit in terms of resolution. So I had to go into the settings and the graphical options and I lowered my resolution to 2160. So it's relatively smooth now. I could I have the counter up on the left. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's it's dipping between I'd say mid 50s to the 60s. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I, as long as I get 60 frames in games, I'm I'm happy. But below it, you can really notice uh, a difference. But yeah, I can see why my performance is gonna fluctuate, especially in this area because it has has a lot a lot of detail. This is amazing, by the way. This is I I'm just I'm flabbergasted right now. How this this area looks with all the neon lights it's very pretty but it looks it looks even better on my other headset and for some strange reason also I'd want to mention on the HP Reverb G2 I'm able to increase the resolution to about 2430 and I'm I still get good performance so I don't know why on the quest or the meta quest oculus quest I don't know why my performance tanks so much on 2430 and the native resolution on the HP reverb is higher than the oculus so I don't know it is what it is but I'm just really I'm, I'm really happy I can even play this game like this in virtual reality it's just incredible I could just walk around for hours in this area Yeah, I've never been into these kinds of games before, like MMOs or RPGs or JRPGs, but I gotta admit, Final Fantasy Remake is is definitely an exception. I even enjoyed playing the Final Fantasy 15. That was pretty cool. That would be great if uh, Luke can transform Final Fantasy 15 into uh, VR compatibility. You change the views here. Much farther. I think my favorite one so far is like the mid. The... This is the closest one. I'll keep it at mid is good. What's cool, the fact that you can actually put the camera all the way down on the ground and you can inspect everybody's shoes. That's pretty cool. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, I installed some extra mods in this game. You know me and mods. So if anybody's interested in how to install mods in this game, let me know and I can make a tutorial on that uh, one of the most the biggest mods I installed for this is the HD pack I downloaded I think I have to, I had to download off of a torrent but if anybody wants it let me know um, I could upload it to my Google Drive or I can provide you with a link to where you can get 
these uh, 4K textures. But be warned, these textures are massive. Altogether, the texture pack, the HD texture pack uh, for this game was, I think, around 50, 55 or 56, like 55 and, or 57 gigabytes. So it's massive. It's massive. And there's other graphical enhancements that came with it as well. I think it has to do with some lighting and the skybox. So if you like the way the game looks, it's a lot more detailed, I think. You can really notice it, especially in VR. Um, yeah, let me know. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you how to install it. And I, of course, I, I installed a, a, a plethora of other mods, too. I forgot which ones. I have to look at it again. But they're different outfits. And, and of course, I found some not safe for work stuff, too. But I didn't install it for the purposes of recording. Or, you know on my channel for YouTube but uh, I'll probably try those other mods out and I'll put it on my patreon so if anybody's interested in checking it out uh, yeah I'll keep you posted or just let me know if you're hell-bent on getting in then go bother the trio thing I don't like this seems to be a lot of I don't know if it's film grain or what but the air it looks like this it's very cloudy or dusty well I'm looking at my screen my 2d screen and that's not the case so in VR though you really notice it and I'm wow I'm looking at the the way the game looks on my screen it it's really nice actually it's, it's the colors are a lot more saturated and vibrant well you never know maybe I'll switch over and play the flat screen for a little while see in the flat screen the resolution is very sharp and crisp but in VR it's blurry so I think that has to do with just virtual reality in general for future headsets that they're inevitably gonna come out with they're probably gonna have to crank up the resolution the native resolution on VR headsets much higher I'd say at least 8k I've heard maybe even 16k but that's that's gonna be way down the road no one has that kind of tech right now uh, to to be able to, you like a piping hot to even play any games at those resolutions you know rowdy place, isn't it? maybe when we come out with the fucking RTX 5090 Ti or something like that then maybe we could but for now uh, I don't think it's feasible no one's even playing 8k games on flat screen so yeah Definitely not feasible anytime soon. Huh? Alright, let me stop yapping. I'll, I'll play the game. But it's just this kind of. This game, I could just Something play without really. Wrong with this place. Playing the, the main missions. It's just. Just the fact that you could walk around and explore is, is, is really, it's really enticing. Talk about a busy day, huh? So what do you say we grab a drink? What is this magical materia shop? Okay, this guy's just laying down. See the sign out front? All I got is materia. Let's see what you got. Healing. Cleansing revival. Is this? Oh shit. Let me fix my view. Okay, here we go. Okay. I have ten of them already. Let's see if there's something binding. All right, I'll take that. I'll take a bunch of them. Why not? HP, deadly dodge. Yeah, there's nothing I need. Pretty much have everything. 
Alright. Thanks, buddy. I can't mm -hmm. step over this collision over here. Oh, look at all this detail, though. Oh, this looks kind of low res. I don't know what this is. It looks like a piece of... What is that? A piece of meat or something. Or... Maybe it's supposed to be a meteorite. Of some kind. I don't know. It looks fleshy. <laughs> All right. Where am I supposed to go? Okay, I'm supposed to go there, but I want to see how big this this map is. Uh, this area is pretty big. Alright, there's a fork in the road. Splits up. Uh, all these to the same area though. One main road. Yeah, exploration is definitely encouraged in this game. Alright, see, now I'm, I'm back up to about 90-ish frames, and obviously the reason is I'm, I'm in an area where there's not a lot of detailed objects and buildings and light sources and things like that, so. Yeah, that area, it looks beautiful, but wow, that, that, that location can really tank your performance. this thing though. What do those arrows mean? Alright, let me check th this way first. Uh, it's in Japanese. Let's say Nino something. Monsta. Monsta ni something. Probably saying beware, there's creatures. Where the hell am I? Children's secret. Oh, okay. I see. I don't know how I ended up back here. I'm at some. I'm at the the village that I was before. I People are talking about you. You've got one hell of a reputation. Weapons and armor. And of course, I have everything. So I have over two million. Take care of my um, equipment, you hear? Let's say dollars. I forgot the currency to use. Gill, gill is called. I don't know who came up with that name? Gill.
Where's that fork in the road? Where am I going? All right, I want to make the next left and go around and see what's there. Right here, I believe it is. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I've been playing. I've been playing from software games and other RPGs too much. I've been using. I just pressed R1 to slash. I, I forget that uh, in Final Fantasy, <laughs> they changed it to X. Oh shit! Oh no no! X X! Damn it! Been here already. Yeah, I don't feel like going back. Let me go back around. Yeah, I like the free look for your character. The playable character is moving one way and you could just you could pivot and turn your head and look all around. Alright, I'm back here. Where do I have to go? Where was that? Ah, here it is. I guess they're closed right now. Why don't we try looking for another one of the trio? That was the best thing that's ever been done to me. Yeah. My frame rate dropped down to about 60s, 70s. There's something downright wrong with this place. Oh, this place is full up too. See how big this area is. Alright, there's something over where is it? Right here? No. I swear I have good authority. Let me check this upper level first. See a close view. Yeah, he's super close. Street just over there. You're not still wasting your gill at the Honey Bee Inn, are you? <laughs> you bet I am. Found me a secret route in, one nobody don't know about. Only trouble is, it's filled with drunks and garbage. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Place is full. Leave me alone. I'm fine. Of course I'm not. 
get away from me before I scream. Like I give a shit. That guy over there. He, uh, ah, look at the cat. He doing all right, you think? He's fine, just drunk. Like the rest of us. Am I right? That candy that comes with the summoning material. Right, what's down here? Aha. And like I said, it really pays to explore. What's this guy doing? Is he puking? Uh, that scent. I can't stand it. Oh, that's cool. My head is... There's no collision here. My head is poking out through the other... Through the wall in the, in the other area. Alright, what is this? Probably something I have already. This is getting, getting nauseous right now. Okay, this is a better view. Alright, I was here. Yeah, okay, here's this kid. So, yeah, let me go up here first. I would love to play Shamu like this. Uh, I can't believe I bought the same disc twice. Uh, excuse me. If you like, you can have it. Oh, how nice of you. You going here? No. I know she's not supposed to see any of her customers outside the bar, so I'm not going to talk to her. But I know stuff. I bet you're fine. That the damn honeybee. All right, here's my destination. Let me walk around a bit. This the place? It was like. Think so. Let me handle this. You wait out here, okay? And why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure. Bitch, do what you're told and wait. I'm a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Go in the kitchen, make daddy something to eat. <laughs> oh, let me chill. I'm gonna get canceled for that shit. What's in here? Gotta stay sharp though. Lifetime bands a lifetime band. And what the Sam how is this shit? Is she a bumblebee? What? <laughs> See, she's kind of thick. Eh, skinny thick. Really cleaning up. Tonight. Yeah, that's not sus. You wearing a bee outfit, hanging out in some back alley somewhere. Yo, there's got to be a way to turn the HUD off somehow. So that command menu is it's just kind of breaks the immersion a bit. Alright, I can't... Oh, what's here? I can go through here. It's so awkward. It feels so strange when you're... My face is like going through objects. Marlita's the greatest honey girl there ever was. It's an undisputed truth, and I dare well, anyone see. try and deny it. I dare. You are wrong, sir. Folia may be new, but she is clearly the best and the only one worthy of being called the greatest. Look at these two simping over some NPC. Yes, 
Move. I won't get there. Oh, I can't get. Damn it! It's always best to be prepared for the worst, wouldn't you agree? Oh man, I can't get past them. You might want to sign up for disability insurance right now. Marlita's the greatest disability insurance. There ever was. It's an undisputed truth, and I dare anyone try and deny it. I dare. You are wrong, sir. Polia may be new, but she is clearly the best and the only one worthy of being called the greatest. Wait, you're a All right. Not great. Finish looking around, then I'll go to destination. It's a habit of mine. It's an OCD thing. I have to go over every part of the map, check out every nook and cranny, until I'm like completely familiarized with uh, the, the the map, the map area of each game. All right, I came from up there. Maybe I ought to give up. Quit screwing around. Move back home. Live with my folks again. Yeah. I don't think there's a way to even turn the map off. I tried looking the other night, and I couldn't do it. We're done. I've seen everything. Alright, let me... You know what? I'm gonna check out the map. Wait, the battle settings? Okay, I don't need that. Where is it? No. I guess it's gotta be under system, right? Options. Gameplay. Minimap. Okay, no, see, hmm. Try the dynamic. I don't think that means it disappears, but I think it just means uh, the map spins in relation to where you're facing. Combat controls guide display. Oh, maybe, let's see what happens. Turn that off. Yeah, is that a, uh, I forget. What is this? Change whether or not the on screen comp controls guide displays. Okay. Camera controls. Let me see. Positioning. Hold that. Uh, lock on controls. Nope. Yeah, I had to turn everything down, especially the shadows. Yeah, it's not here, see? Stray is show. Yeah, you and me both. Thanks for bringing us here. Yeah, it's still nothing. Alright. Maybe I'll go on the Nexus and see if there's a, a, a toggle HUD mod of some kind. A HUD toggle mod. Okay, they're all wearing bumblebee outfits. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honeybee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? A honey uh, boy. Or we're here honey to see girl. Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. 
Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Can't go inside here. I'm sorry that I couldn't be of more help to you. Greg. I wonder if my honey girl got the flower bouquet I had delivered. Oh my god. Final Fantasy Simps. Wait, where do I have to go? Alright. I have to go back to that other spot. Wait, no. What's... No, I'll check the... This other area. What the hell? Welcome, welcome. It's a Gisha yes, girl. Step right up. It's a long ass dress. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is <laughs> this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest Happy ending? Task Happy ending? Strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> right. What better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don Cook. Now say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Uh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well? Hmm. Name? It's so weird. Cloud I'm like strife. two inches from her. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, it, it feels like I'm really next to her. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? Four man's course. <laughs> yeah, that would be me. I'm taking the luxury, baby. <laughs> Then make your way to the room in the back and wait. Cloud? BJ? Do I get a BJ? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well to do patrons. Oh, I'm sure. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. The tip of my what? I'm only here to help. Oh, oh. oh did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. The base of the what? Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. <laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, well, 
was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? <laughs> Okay, there's a weird noise coming from my PC right now. That's not if that good. that was your liking, do come again. Right. I gotta get a new PC fan. How was it? Huh? Yeah, he got a happy you ending. Okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am? Really weird. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? Alright then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. Oh, I switched? What the? I just switched characters. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, so you don't need that favor? All right, everybody. I think that's going to be all. Um, I'm, I'm going to check my PC. It's making this weird clicking, vibrating sound. I think something got caught uh, in maybe between the blades of the, the PC fan. And it's just, if this happened before, it's like really it's super annoying. It could be like dust or debris or something. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll continue this in the next episode. Uh, maybe I'll look through Nexus and see whether mods I can play around with. All right, hope you enjoyed that, everybody. And if you want, like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, it will definitely help me out. And, yeah, uh, help the algorithm out. Because as you know, I'm not getting very many views or subs for some reason. And uh, I don't know if it's due to shadow banning or what. Most likely it's probably shadow banning. But um, yeah. Uh, it, it, hopefully, I mean, the more subs I can get, uh, I, you know, my, my content can hopefully get out there more often. But since it's not feasible right at the, you know, at this time, uh, I start a Patreon, as you know, I mentioned in all my videos. Uh, if anybody's interested in seeing unedited, uh, uncensored rather fully uncensored videos um, I I want to be uploading pretty frequently at least a couple times a week up there so if you want to see some you know adult stuff then yeah check out my channel on patreon I'll leave the my patreon link in the video description all right with that said take care everybody and yeah I'll see you in the next episode take care and good night bye bye